Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Unit 11 Complete a funny story Use proper punctuation marks Dear students, in this unit we will learn how to complete a funny story and how to use proper punctuation marks Okay, let's look at the objective of this unit So after completing this unit you will be able to complete a funny story using interesting ideas and use proper punctuation marks like capital letters comma and full stop okay so first I will read out a funny story for you okay you listen to the story uh, just try to grab the funny elements there okay and after that we will practice writing a funny story okay a funny thing happened last Saturday afternoon. I went to the mall to meet my friend Suzanne. I was a bit early, so I decided to have a snack and a drink. I went to a new cafe called the Metro. It was a little expensive, so I just got a soda. It was really crowded, but I found a table and sat down. Then a girl came over and said, is this the seat free? She looked nice, so I said, sure. Anyway, she had a cup of coffee and a sandwich. She drank the coffee and ate half of the sandwich and then she left. I was hungry, so I ate the other half. Then a few minutes later, she came back. She was on her cell phone, so I didn't explain about the sandwich. I just left. I was so embarrassed, but things got worse. I met my friend Suzanne about 15 minutes later and she said let's go and meet my cousin Becky she just called me from the Metro cafe hope you have understood this story and you would have got the funny element here okay uh, how embarrassed Suzanne was okay so when we write or when we complete a funny story okay we should have some funny elements there okay it can be some experience of your life okay some past experience of your life let's look at this uh, uh, funny story let's try to complete this funny story in fact like when I was in class 8 my teacher asked us to bring a new notebook okay and uh, you have to complete this story with some funny elements okay so I what will you write after this my teacher asked us to bring a new notebook I forgot to to bring to bring it then you can say luckily okay I saw a notebook okay notebook in the in the teachers cupboard in the teachers cupboard thinking that nobody owns it owns it means it doesn't belong to anybody thinking that nobody owns it okay I wrote my name over it and kept it in my bag now you need to add some funny elements so you can say the teacher punished all the students the teacher punished all the students without notebook okay I was happy being saved okay but before the class was over the teacher looked for his for his notebook and asked us to to return it okay I was so embarrassed okay I was so embarrassed so you know you can add any funny idea this is just 
for your uh, just for an example just to give you an idea okay when I was in class 8 my teacher asked us to bring a new a new notebook and we using simple sentences we gave it a funny sh like funny shape to it and hope it looks funny so whenever you are asked to complete a funny story or write a funny story you can use your imagination okay use simple sentences and uh, as we have to look at the punctuation mark whenever we start a new sentence okay uh, it should be in in capital like after full stop I when you complete a sentence okay there should be a full stop whenever something uh, uh, means embarrassing or happy is there we use the exclamation mark this is an exclamation mark these are the full stop whenever you complete a full stop we use whenever we complete a sentence we use a full stop whenever we begin a new sentence we start with capital okay when there are more than two things or when you when you have a long sentence we use comma okay hope you have enjoyed this unit and uh, this is all for today. See you in the next class. Thank you so much.